What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego. You know A B about bullets. Always Bishop. You seen the movie Juice? Now, I know you guys just seen the clip. It was Adrian Broner. He was letting off an assault rifle, AR-15 to be exact, and he was just letting it dump at the shooting range. Now, I have no problem with that. I myself go to the shooting range too, but for whatever reason, for Broner, I, I just feel like he's young-minded. Like, I feel he's impressed by the flashy things that others wouldn't be impressed with. Like, that's cool if you want to go to the shooting range or whatnot, but I, I think he, he's still in the, the young-minded phase where he thinks this is cool and the funny thing is two weeks ago i did an ego impression skit on instagram i also put on the end of one of my videos and it was of adrian broner because he again posted a picture of a gun but this was a fake gun it was a prop gun at a museum and i did a skit two weeks ago and in it i said a lot of bullets i'll try to put it at the end of this particular video and in my in my description i put a lot of bullets and then today he posts this and he puts about bullets so i don't know I really don't know what it is. You just lost to Sean Porter, second loss. You lost to Maidana and said you're not going to lose again, and then you lost again, and the only saving grace was the 12th round. I just feel Broner needs to buckle down. And like I said, there's nothing wrong going to the shooting range. I myself go to the shooting range. However, it's just like he seems like he eats this stuff up. Like this is the stuff he, he seems more concerned with than his career, and that is the problem. And I've made this comparison before for a while. Floyd Mayweather does all this stuff, gets under people's skin, talks shit about his foes and his opponents to sell tickets. And then he is all business when he fights them in the ring. Look at what he said to Ricky Hatton. Look at what he said to Sugar Shane Mosley. He called Canelo the Notre Dame mascot and all this, but he's all business when he steps foot in that ring. And I think Broner, if anything, can learn that from his big bro, Floyd Mayweather. You got to learn how to have that switch, turn it on and off, because a lot of the stuff he does comes across as juvenile. And I'm not, I'm not expecting social media or these athletes to be role models, but it doesn't look good for your career when you do this type of stuff, post guns and shooting range and you dancing and jewelry and stuff like that, and your performances aren't as flashy as the stuff you're putting out beforehand. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with that. You want to dance and jewelry? It was cool when you were walking out to the ring rapping and those different things when you were winning. But if you're not, maybe you should leave some of that stuff alone. The rapping, the fast life, the cars and stuff like that really buckled down. Like it looks like Chavez Jr. is attempting to do. I don't know because he still has his, his opponent in terms of Reyes. But hopefully these guys get it. Like Chavez Jr., I want to see them succeed. He's with Robert Garcia now. I thought that was a good move he could have made years ago. Now, hopefully, Broner, he does the same thing. Like, the, the boxing is not the sport for you. If you have one foot out and one foot in and you care more about being a celebrity, ask Zab Judah. Zab Judah was partying hard. I think Zab Judah, skill-wise, has the skills to beat damn near about anyone. You've seen the problems he gave Floyd Mayweather, but it's about a mindset. It's about honing your skills and sharpening your skills and it's hard to do that when you're living the zab judah life the mike tyson life the kelly pavlik life outside of the ring that's all i gotta say make sure you like my video as always hey comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off oh man you know a b a lot of bullets i got a arsenal bitch yeah i heard the motherfucking jokes because i took another loss i know y'all seen the movie juice and i'm always bishop and i am crazy but you know what else i don't give a fuck Brrr.